where you are with those things. It's, it's so important. You're absolutely right. Um, I see so many caregivers every day um, who wander through the halls of Baptist coming to visit their loved ones. And, um, you know, it's just something like this would be so helpful for them. Mm -hmm. So I hope that we can, um, we can get a few people who maybe would have never considered taking a yoga class or a meditation training to do that. And we're going to get into talking a little bit more about this. But if you've happened to just stumble upon this and go, what's going on? This is Lauren Tulin, um, and she's talking about yoga as a therapy for caregivers, um, alleviating stress, anxiety, and taking care of yourself. If you have a question or you'd like to participate in the conversation, you can send us that via chat at cbs6albany.com or through the cbs6 facebook page um so laura what kind of you know we've talked a lot about how this could help people but what kind of evidence you know we live in such a world where everybody wants to know how how does it work what kind of evidence can you give me to support mm -hmm. that this really does work mm -hmm. for people right well um more and more studies are being be are being published every day um regarding the ability of yoga to address specific and general health conditions. There's a, there's a, um, a statistic out there that between 70 and 80 percent of all doctor's visits have stress as a component relating to the reason why someone's coming into the doctor. 70 to 80 wow. percent of illness wow. has a stress component. Wow. So it that, manifests in your body somehow. It, yeah. it absolutely does. It, it, you can't just wish it away. You can't just, <laughs> you've got to manage it away. Yeah. You know, otherwise it's like you're playing, you know, that game whack-a-mole and mm -hmm. you're just trying to hit the symptoms and it, and it, we need a, we need a holistic and systemic approach to this. So, um, because we're all so stressed out and caregivers especially are so, are, are stressed out, um, I think it's important to note that st these, these statistics are out there. Um, but again, in, to come back to the published studies, uh, really prestigious universities and uh, corporations have done multiple studies that just it's, the results are in and it's very clear that meditation and yoga have great, great effect on everything from, uh, as I said, individual conditions to this general perceived stress response, which is one of the measures that's often used in these studies. Harvard University, Stanford University, the Mayo Clinic, mm -hmm. um, Aetna Insurance Company, large, 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 large insurance company, big employer, um, had a study a few years back done on just very, very simple, simple yoga practice, very simple meditation practice for their employees and their perceived stress response went down by about something like 60%. Don't quote me, but I think it's, wow. it's that dramatic. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. And the U.S. Armed Services are using yoga techniques um, to treat veterans with PTSD very, very effectively. And again, if you consider what PTSD is, it has uh, a mental component that certainly affects the physical as well um, in terms of you know, maladaptive um, response to environment and um, the physical the physical toll in terms of um, just depression and related disorders and even addiction, yeah. huge in PTSD um, sufferers. So, if you know the United States governor government is is supporting it, um, I don't know if that's a dubious claim or not, but but. It's definitely something that's been proven over and over again. And for literally for decades throughout the world, there have been studies uh, that more and more are coming out. Well, I mean, it's a science. Uh, and it's, it's, it's absolutely very, very a science. old, and it's worked for many, many people. So there, there, there's some, some great validity to all of this. Yeah, and that's why it's still, still around. You yeah. know, it's said to be 5,000 years old. This is why yeah. it's still around, and it's gaining popularity now because we need we need modalities like this. We oh, need absolutely. more techniques in our toolbox. Yeah. As the world speeds up for everyone, and especially you know for us, um, you know, boomers that are, you know, aging a little bit, and uh, you know, just <laughs> no, trying, not. just try. I know, no, but just trying to keep up with technology can be. Um, I know I have my own challenges with that, as I'm sure many do, but. Having a tool that is so easy and so accessible, I mean, I, in my own life, it's brought me much peace. So yeah. thank you for that. Mm -hmm. But I, I really want folks to know that it isn't just a, you know, the, the craze of hot yoga or whatever the, the moment of yoga is of the week. It's right. not that. This is not what we're talking about. 
Um, again, how can somebody get some resources and teachers locally um, to, to help them with that process? I know that you actually do teacher training mm -hmm. here in Albany um, at a great place called HeartSpace, which if you're interested and you're checking this out after the fact, you can access HeartSpace's web website at um, heartspacealbany.com, and there's all that information on there and probably some information about some meditation classes um, yep. as well, I would yep. imagine. Yep. Um, yeah, and I, um, you know, through my teacher trainings, um, I've sort of seeded a lot of different um teachers throughout the years in in these in this area um, but you know you may not necessarily have to go to a class either if, if you don't have time or resources for that it's a good it's a good thing to do to try to find uh, a class that isn't all of all about us you know a specific sort of as you were saying hot yoga or something like that that actually can can exacerbate symptoms related to anxiety and, um, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It, for for some people, okay. it can. Yeah, good to not, know. Not all yoga and all yoga classes are, you know, it's not a one size fits all approach. Um, you know, yoga is adaptable to the individual. We, we have group classes out there because it's a social thing, which is bare, again an mm -hmm. important. If you have time as a caregiver, social isol isolation is a really big issue. If you have time, it's a great way to find community, a supportive community, and one that's based on. Um, self-improvement but be careful and discerning about about the class that you take that you know kind of be aware of whether it actually makes you feel better or you know yeah. or worse